everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we will be making a mild fruitcake recipe remember for all the ingredients and measurements it will be listed down below in the description box now here is the first step now here is what you will need for your fruitcake recipe today I'll be using some all-purpose flour I have salted butter mild brown sugar you can use any sugar of your choice you can use white sugar or mild brown sugar today I'm using some mild brown sugar I have my eggs I have some cinnamon nutmeg baking powder and mixed essence and in here I have some store-bought puree fruits and this is what it looks like this is my absolute favorite fruits to bake with black cake fruit cake any cake it's called tropical fruit mix and it is a product of Guyana this is what you, you would usually get in Guyana during the Christmas season um, it's the ingredients are carambola sugar caramel and demerara rum and as you can see here it says product of Guyana I usually get this on Liberty Avenue whenever I'm going to New York I always pick up like about two or three container it is available throughout the, the year so. and this is how it looks it's already blended and preserved in here for my other fruits in here I will be using some maraschino cherries and this is the brand I'm going to be using I'm also going to be using some dry cherries and this is how it looks and this is the brand I will be using and I'm also going to use some raisins and here I have some prunes now I'll place this on the side and now to a bowl you'll add in all your fruits you just want to spread it out to the bottom and you're gonna go in with some hot water after you add your hot water, you want to place this on the side and allow the fruits to absorb the water and soften up a bit. We're going to chop these really, really fine. So we want them to be nice and softened before we start chopping them. So I'm going to place this to the side and allow the water to cool down so that I can start chopping it. So now that my fruits cool down and it got really nice and soft, it's time to chop them now. We want them to be really, really fine. And if you would like to put this in your food processor or your hand blender and blend it, it's totally fine. I just like to do this step by hand because I get to control the fineness or the texture that I like. So guys, now that this is all finely chopped, we're going to empty the other puree fruits that we have on the side um, on top here. And then we're just going to mix this in. So now that my fruits is all finely chopped, I'm gonna place it in this container here and we're gonna place this on the side until we're ready for it. Now let's start creaming our butter and our sugar. To a large mixing bowl, I will go in with my mild brown sugar here and I'm gonna go in with my butter. Remember, for all the ingredients, you must use room temperature. And this amount we're making here today will only give you one cake and that is a nine inch cake. Today I'll be using a hand mixer. If you're using a stand mixer or you're doing this by hand, you will follow the same step as I'm doing. So after creaming your butter and sugar for about eight to 10 minutes, it's time to add in our eggs now. You wanna add in one egg at a time and make sure that the egg is completely mixed in before you add in the second egg. Doing that will avoid the mixture from curdling. Remember, it is not necessary for the sugar to be melted before you start adding in your eggs. So guys, I have the last egg here to add in and you want to make sure that when you're adding in your last egg, the sugar must be completely melted before you add any other ingredients to your mixture. You don't want to have any sugar in here and start adding in any of your other ingredients, then your cake will fall. So we want to make sure you test the mixture to make sure that there's no grain. You can just pick some up on your hands like this and just test it like this to see if there is any sugar. And if there is, you are just going to continue mixing it until you don't feel any of the sugar. So this is my last egg and by the time this is fully incorporated, my sugar must be completely melted. So guys, now that everything is nicely creamed here, I'm going to go in with my spices and I'm going to go in here with my essence and I'm also going to go in with all of my fruits. Remember, if you want to leave back some of the fruits until you're done mixing the cake and you think you want to add some more, you can do that as well. But I like the amount that I prepared. I'll use all of it. Now that your fruits is mixed in, you'll go in with your flour now 
and I'm gonna sift this through my strainer. So I'm gonna sift in about half of what I have here first, and I'm gonna mix this in. Now that everything is nicely incorporated, you just wanna go ahead now and fold in your baking powder. So guys, now that the cake is done mixing, we'll place this on the side and we're gonna prepare our pan. You also wanna preheat your oven to 340 degrees. And today I'll be using a nine inch springform pan and I'm going to be lining the bottom with a piece of parchment paper. And now I'm gonna just cut the excess that's hanging off here. So I'm gonna go in with some cooking spray here and we're gonna brush it evenly on the bottom. And now you're gonna dust a little bit of flour on the bottom and just spread it out evenly by hitting it on the side here. You also want to make sure you hit the bottom of the pan to get the excess flour out. And now it's time to pour our batter into our pan. But just before you do that, you want to just give it a quick stir here. And now we'll pour our batter into the pan. So guys, I'm going to place this in the oven to bake and I'll set my oven to 45 minutes first and after 45 minutes i'll check on it and if it needs some more time i'll leave it again but i'll let you guys know the exact time i take it out from the oven so guys after baking for one hour here's a look at my cake i will just allow this to cool down and i'll cut into it and show you guys how it's looking from the inside so after i remove the cake from the pan i'm just going to cut into it now guys and show you how it's looking on the inside And after cutting into the cake, this is what it's looking like on the inside. Look at this beautiful color on all the bits and pieces of fruits and how soft and spongy it is. So guys, here is the end result of my mild fruit cake recipe. I hope you give this recipe a try. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. As usual, I want to say thank you for watching. Goodbye, and I'll see you in my next video.